Are you relocating to Washington State? Many people are moving to Washington State for jobs or to be closer to family or for the weather. Yes, people actually do move here for the milder, cooler, cloudy weather. If I were moving to the Seattle-Tacoma area, I would want to know a few things about the area first. So I thought I would share with you the things that I think are important so you're not surprised when you get here and you fit right in. Stick around until the end and I will tell you one of my favorite places to visit in the Puget Sound area. Just so you know who I am, I am a native to Washington. I grew up in Renton and I have hung around the greater Seattle area my entire life. I love to travel other places, but I haven't found a better place to live. I have a house in Arizona, but I choose to keep it as a rental and live in Washington. I'm a real estate agent, so I can help you with your move here. Take down my number so you will have it when you are ready. Seattle and Tacoma and Bellevue are the most major cities on the west side of Washington. They all have vast differences. Check out this video for more. It is too much to go into here. There are lots of companies here that are hiring from out of state for the Seattle Tacoma area. Costco, Boeing, Patcar, Microsoft, Google, Blue Origin, Starbucks. This is just a few of them. The air is typically very clean here. The rain flushes out most of the air pollution regularly. But with the rain comes moisture and moisture produces molds and moss and many blossoms and blooms. So if you are prone to allergies, you might want to check this out to be sure that these items are not on your allergy list. We have trolls. Don't worry though, they are very safe. You will need a good rain jacket and if you like to hunt or fish or any outdoor sports, you will want good rain pants. We do things in the rain or shine here and we rarely use umbrellas. Seattle has become a melting pot of people, all nationalities from all parts of the world and many different cultures. There are millions of people moving here each year and it is becoming more rare to find someone who grew up here. There are more liberal areas and then much less liberal, a little redneck even. So depending on your preferences, you might want to research that or ask me, I'd be happy to help. There is traffic everywhere and it seems like drivers are crazier and crazier these days, more than they used to be. Maybe just because I'm getting older. Everyone seems to be in a hurry and not paying attention. So be sure you allow enough time to get where you need to go and stay alert. Use Waze, it works really great to know which route to take. There is almost always a line at the coffee shop. We love our coffee, day or night. We also love our sports, hence the reason why we have a 12th man. Go Hawks. I have heard Seattleites are not known as the friendliest people. I wouldn't say rude, I think many people here just stick to themselves and it is tough to break into a friend group sometimes. So if you are from the South, maybe, it would be a culture shock. My advice, don't be afraid to invite someone to do something. Most people are wanting to do something, they just don't reach out, it seems like. The winter time can get a bit dreary because it is dark much of the day and just cloudy and not very bright. Days can be foggy too. January, February, March stretch can be really tough sometimes. Every year we get about a two week stretch or so of very nice weather in February. 60s and sunny, the bulbs start to pop out of the ground and the buds appear on the trees, the birds are chirping. If you were new here, you might think spring was coming, but unfortunately it doesn't last. Everyone gets spring fever, but we get another freeze or snow or maybe just a bunch of rain in March. You will want to dress in layers, especially in the spring. It will be low 50s and then high 60s or 70s. And our 60s and 70s feel so much warmer at that time for some reason than other places. I'm not quite sure why. I always have an extra coat or two in the car. You never know when it's going to rain and the weather people are pretty unpredictable around here. If you plan to be a homeowner and buy a house in the Seattle Tacoma area, here are a few things to be watchful of. Western Washington is very scenic and has lots of trees. They are beautiful, but when there are trees, there is also maintenance. Evergreen trees drop pine needles and pine cones and those little helicopter things. I'm not sure what they're called. These get in your gutters which need to be cleaned. If not, your gutters spill over and cause rot. 
the shade from the trees grow moss on the roof. You will want to be sure to keep the roof clear of moss or your roof will not last as long and roofs are very expensive to replace. Trees also grow big, so they may need to be pruned. They also have big roots so they can grow into areas where you do not want them to grow. The crawl space, sewer lines, you will want to watch out for that. We also have many rhododendron plants around here. They are so pretty in the spring, but they are a pain to deadhead afterwards. Many people don't know that their roots travel really wide. If there is a roadie plant near a septic or a sewer or a foundation, you will want to watch it for root intrusion. Many areas in the Seattle Tacoma area have a high water table. You add lots of rain and that means swampy conditions in yards or in crawl spaces. You want to be sure there is not standing water in your crawl space. If there is, there are ways to fix this, but you definitely want to check on it. It causes rot and mold. One thing that is really good about Western Washington is we do not have any poisonous creatures. I think we do have a brown recluse spider, but I have not seen one yet. We do though have pesty mosquitoes due to the dampness and standing water around. We have non-poisonous snakes and spiders. And we have other little bugs. I don't know them all. So now recently have stink bugs. It seems like they are new and it seems like they are everywhere. Another pesky thing we have, if you are a homeowner, are moles. Moles are tricky to get rid of and they ruin your yard. They cause dirt mounds everywhere and they can get in your foundation. Another thing that I think is fairly unique is the Seattle area is huge recyclers. Most areas have recycling capabilities, but I think there are a great number of people in this area that actually feel really guilty sometimes if they throw away something that should be recycled. It is very green around here due to the moisture, except in the summer. Our summers have been much hotter these days. We have had much more consistent sun and more hotter days. I used to have out-of-state clients moving to Washington asking about air conditioning, and I would always tell them that the majority of houses here don't have AC because we only need it a few days out of the year. That seems to no longer be the case. We seem to be having a couple months worth of really hot days now, above 90 it seems like, or close to it. We had multiple weeks of 90 degrees last year. I'm sure there are a few unique things I left out about Seattle. Do you have a question about the Seattle Tacoma area? If so, post it in the comments below or contact me, I'd be happy to help. Now one of my favorite places to visit, I told you I would tell you, I live south of Seattle, but I love to go walk along Alki and catch the view of Seattle there. It is one of the best views and such a pretty place. You should go check it out if you've not been there.